Hey, this is Lucky Seven DX, and this is Van, <laughs> and we are the Midway Gate, and this is our first LP of this awesome co-op channel, and it's going to be, of course, the ones of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. You probably read that in the title by now, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, this is going to be you know post commentary, obviously, because we're doing group commentary. Always good times. Um, although it won't always be the two of us, we will have guests on occasion, which will be good times. You already probably know who a few of those will be. Well, at least one of them. Yes. And yes, those will be for the dungeons because dungeons need more fun. Yeah. And we're just going to sit here and stare at this pink purple egg, or the, the pink egg of awesomeness. And I'm going to pick the middle file because we're the midway gate. <laughs> I see what anyway, you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> All right, so Link's in bed. He's very restless, apparently. Um, so what, what else do we have to say about this game? It rocks. You talk, Van. You're being really quiet. <laughs> well, how can I talk when you're talking all the time? <laughs> anyway, so of course, the, the whole plot of this game is Link gets shipwrecked and arrives at a mysterious island where this girl wants to make out with him. I mean, um, finds him and brings him over to the house. Yeah, like that's not. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So, first things first, you talk to this duder who looks like Mario, and he gives you a shield. Yes. Because shields are important, Spoilers. you use them to block things. <laughs> you know what? It was a spoiler about like five seconds, and who cares? Jeez. Well, maybe um, somebody didn't play this. Why? You know what? Yeah, probably they haven't. I don't know, it's not in the 3DS now even. No excuses yeah. anymore. Uh, so control-wise, you use B and A for your items, you move around with the control pad thingy, or if you have the 3DS, your analog stick connected technically these days. You kids and your analog sticks. Back in my day, I had four directions, yes. and I liked it. Uh, you can use select to exit the map you saw, or start to change out your items, or look at your heart pieces or whatnot. I'm already way behind this video. <laughs> Good job. Also, this game has chain jumps. Yes. This is, like, one of the best things in the game. It has freaking Mario characters. It has Mar a lot of um, Mario. It also has boys who play catch for the rest of time. Yeah, for, like, hours. So, first thing... Yeah. <laughs> Endless catch. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is you want to come down here and, uh, well, they say to come down here. I'm not going to spoil because apparently Van gets pissed off if I do that. <laughs> not but you want to use your seat to move these urchins because they look like Gordos. Ha <laughs> ha We oh, know what uh, we can uh, say about uh, don't we? Uh, but we won't, will yeah. we? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And yeah. <laughs> you had to skip. What? No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying Gordos. Anyway, anyway, um, so yeah, we meet this annoying owl. He's kind of, uh, I don't know. What do you think, Ocarina of Time owl or this owl? Who's more annoying? What are you talking about? The owl is like the most favorite character of everybody, obviously. Blasphemy. <laughs> like just like Tingle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tingle's okay. I could accept Tingle. No, I actually like this owl, so. Okay, yeah, the owl's kind of legit in this game. He's like your guide who, like, tells you stuff, I guess. He's like the old grandpa. What? Anyway, the epic music starts now. Yes. And we do a spin attack to the face. Okay, I made that reference already. I can get out of the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what had to happen. I'm of sorry. Course. It's my thing. Of course. Um, of course, now we have a sword, so you can easily kill things. Uh, I don't know. It's just your basic Zelda. It's like, it's, well, this is kind of like the Zelda that started a lot of the trends, actually. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm... Uh, I don't really know Links to the Past that well. The original, oh, I know the original, um, but I'm pretty sure this game actually started a lot of things. This is the first thing that it has. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna spoil it. No. I was about to spoil it. I didn't I just no. jumped on Octorok? <laughs> <laughs> I want to ride it. Oh. <laughs> He's just, like, riding in Octorok right now. Not that kind of riding. Shut up. I didn't say. Uh, <laughs> hey man, save. Just push all your. Oh yeah, it's what you can do. You can also save. I don't know about you, but uh, I don't know if you ever. Uh, did that, but the, uh, the whole saving thing, or to press all the buttons, that is so annoying to do in this game. No, it was actually oh, pretty but, cool. And I had it on the original but, Game Boy, that really big... Yeah, it was a lot better on the original Game Boy, but I was playing some 3DS recently, and uh, lately, and it's just like, pressing all four buttons, it just never would work. It's so oh, annoying. It, it worked really Only way to though. save in this game. But, um... Yeah, so this is the... What, is, what the hell is this? like the know-it-all books... Library. House. The know-it-all is from Oracle Games, but yeah. There's a book called Fun of Bombs. I don't know about you, Van, but I would love to read a book that titled Fun with Bombs. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> the only important thing about this library is there's this book in here that you can't read. Well, that and the book on the shelf up there. But we'll get to that later, won't we? Spoiler. Um, <laughs> spoilers! <laughs> this episode will be titled Spoilers. 
Fun fact, by the way, those three little plant things there always contain hearts. You know that? It's very good for replenishing your health when you only have three hearts, and... Uh, early game is always when um, things are tough. And I don't know if, uh, for the viewers who don't know, if you actually don't, if you go through this game without dying, which hopefully we'll try to do that. Um, <laughs> I love this old lady. Yahoo! <laughs> um, but uh, if, you, if you go through this game without dying, you actually get an extra cutscene at the end or an extra little thing. So we'll try to show that off, but we're also yeah. going to be legit no cheats and not... Uh, if we if we die, we'll just we'll just take it like a man and a yeah. woman. <laughs> hey, that works, a man. All right. <laughs> anyway, so that oh, uh, that the guy who was really shy. Um, he, he actually, if you go to these little houses with the phone booths, uh, he'll, if you, you uh, if you call the phone because they apparently had phones back then. Um, <laughs> I just I'm, I'm trying to hit. If you hit the dog, by the way, he will attack you. So don't do that. I was um, that was a cat. <laughs> attacking dog idea. But if you go to the phone booth, uh, he will. Um, he will give you advice on where to go next. Yes, and if so, you go to him in person, he goes all like, Ah, please call me, I'm too shy. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> please call me, I'm too shy to talk in person. Poor guy, he's like everyone on the internet. Yeah, um, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> also, he was too shy to talk to people before it was cool. Also those, um, those, um, little friggin' seashells. Yes. You wanna talk about these? <laughs> Why don't you talk about these? I've been talking too much. Uh, well, you collect them, they're hidden in the whole, um, land. Uh, some are even, like, really well hidden, like, underground and whatnot. And, um, if you can collect enough of them, something cool will happen. That's the hint all the time. I think it's something good would happen, actually, but close yeah. enough. Something hey. good is about to happen! I had this game in German, so shut up. <laughs> Fair enough. You German people. I'm not German! <laughs> You European people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the dog attack me, so I'm just gonna go in the shop. Um, that little area of a bunch of plants is a good way to get rubies, and if you get ten rubies, you can play a game. Yes. Because we all love to play games. Um, pretty simple though. You just use B and A to direct this little thing, and really, you don't need anything there because it's just rubies. And if you ever lose a shield, which you should have no reason to have lost a shield by now. Uh, but yeah, just get get the Yoshi in the middle. It's not there for decoration. You can actually take it. I want my Yoshi! I want my Yoshi! Yoshi! I'm so excited. Look how excited I am. Um, <laughs> and yes, FYI, I'm actually the one who's playing now. I don't know if we haven't actually mentioned that. No. But um, we will alternate between um, dungeons, so, so uh, yeah. once a dungeon is over, the other person shall take over, and, and we can the, see how good this game. And all the fail that happens right now, it's all lucky, blame lucky. Don't forget <laughs> that. Yes, about that. Um, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> uh, there's also another step over here, the infinite shop, where you can actually steal stuff from this yes. guy. I'm not gonna show that though, because then you'll die. But <laughs> and also your name will be changed to Thief, and I like my name the way it is. Link's a badass name, and if my name was Thief, I'd probably cry. Aww. <laughs> well, everyone would be like, you'd steal shit. Oh, by the way, this phrase right here. Oh my god. Oh, that's gonna happen you a lot of Every time you touch a goddamn rock or a pot, and it's just, yeah. ah. Uh -huh. One of the big flaws in this game is very repetitive text sometimes. Uh, they did definitely fix that a lot in the Oracle games and future handheld Zeldas. And we just Actually, got rid of our Yoshi. We got rid of our Yoshi for a ribbon. Kind of a shitty trade, I don't know about you, but I like to keep my Yoshi doll. Yeah, well, a lot of those trades are weird. Yes, um, and that's, uh, so yeah, this is actually the first game in the Zelda series to actually introduce a trading quest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so, we will be, uh, I guess we're gonna be spending a little bit, uh, left here doing this trading quest, because there's actually quite a bit you can do at the very beginning of the game, so, mm -hmm. we're gonna kind of get, we're gonna try to get a lot of these side questy stuff done, like, as soon as possible, you know, most efficient game, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this woman has a chomp chomp, it's called Bow Wow in this game, it's freaking call it chomp game. But there's a little one here, and you can actually trade it with, uh, you can trade your bow, because apparently little chomps like actually to look good. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't you know that? Come on. So we've gone from uh, Yoshi doll, which is awesome, to a ribbon, which is kind of awesome. Now we've gone to a ribbon to dog food. I don't know. <laughs> oh, These no. trades are kind of... That house, though, actually is kind of famous for a, a very gl uh, awesome glitch, which... I don't know, I think I, um, I'm tempted to actually show off some glitches, like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I just got stuck walking past that boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I that's failed. what you call it, right, I see. But yeah, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll show some glitches off after we the game, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, maybe. Glitches are fun. <laughs> Ruby! I have two Rubies now, I'm so poor. I actually, I'm just a poor 
Boy. I actually used to like uh, this game because of all the trains you can do. That's actually pretty cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, the trading quest is definitely one of the cooler parts of Zelda's. Um, actually, a lot of the most recent Zelda's haven't really had a trading quest, which is kind of no. disappointing. There's a very nice little thing I was having to try to figure out who to give the next stuff to. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, what the hell is this crocodile thing doing here? <laughs> I don't know. He's hysterical. What do you do? Um. Oh my God! It's dog food. I love how he eats the can too. That was. Cans are very nutritious. They're a good source of fiber. And iron, huh? <laughs> and they're a good source of iron, being made directly out of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you get bananas. That seems like a better trade, actually. Yeah, why not? You should eat them. I don't know. Bananas are legit. Mm -hmm. I've given them. I don't know. Link's a monkey, apparently. <laughs> Banana! Fun. Anyway, spin check to the face. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, For I'm now. Not. <laughs> it will happen a lot. I'm sorry, it's a Zelda game. Um, but yeah, with that, we're pretty much actually done with this episode, because we're uh, got to go up to this little mysterious forest. We're going to cut it out for here. So this is Lucky7DX. And Ben. <laughs> and thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more craziness with yeah. the Midway Gate. As we go to the mysterious forest, it's a little bit mysterious. Just a little bit. Only a tiny bit.